Hey guys, how's it going? Narlan Weed here, and today I just wanted to talk to you uh, again about the um, monopose plague marines you get with Dark Imperium. Um, in particular, I wanted to talk about these two models. Um, they're actually a lot of the parts on these two models are actually exactly the same. You get one guy who's got um, a plasma gun and this kind of spiky cyclops head, and then you've got one guy who has a bolt gun and this kind of uh, sort of uh, knight head with horns. Uh, very cool, really like the models, but um, I, I have found that I've got quite a few of these models in my army so far, um, just because I uh, picked up a lot of the Dark Imperium Plague Marines on, on eBay, because, well, they're cheaper than buying uh, 30 quid boxes for seven guys so um uh but if you uh, they look kind of different from the front but you can see that the pose is kind of the same um but if you look down at the legs you can see that uh i mean this guy has like chain mail over his as a tabard and this guy has like a cloth tabard obviously their gun is different hair is different um but if you if you start to turn them around you'll see that they're actually like um, there's a lot more similarity there. There's uh, they've got both got this cloak. Um, they both have uh, the same backpack, so it's like this backpack with a with a charm and like a plague knife on the back. Uh, th again, they've both got the same legs. So it's uh, it's only actually the the front of the body and the gun and the head which is different. So um, I've found that. You know, with this same sculpt cropping up again and again in my army, I, I wanted to make them a bit more unique. And you can actually do it pretty easily um, just by changing a few parts. So if I want to compare, you know, this is following the instructions with these parts for the bolt gun guy. But um, I've just done a, a couple of little changes. So um, one is I've given him a different head. Um, that's from the seven man plague marine kit which um if you pick it up you've they give you tons of spare heads um so you'll have a lot of these lying around i've i've you know i've i've got so many spares that i've taken to i even put the uh plague marine heads on the on the bases of my uh space marines <laughs> so uh you you literally have so many spares uh the other thing i've done is uh, there's this spike on this shoulder and I've just sliced that off and rounded it off. Um, again, just gives a little more variety. Um, the the other thing that does change the miniature a surprising amount, and you know um, you wouldn't think it would change the character of the miniature so much, but when you look at them from behind, the um, just changing the backpack um, really really makes a lot of difference, especially because. You know, this particular backpack, it's quite tall and it's got this spike. Um, and when I was building him, I kind of went, yeah, I'll have this backpack with this spike coming this way and a helmet with a spike going that way. So it kind of balances out a little bit. Um, so, yeah, just changing the backpack and the head uh, and just cutting that little bit off there has really has made the miniature look um, quite a lot different, even though it's the same, same sculpt. So there's that. Uh, then plasma guns. I run a lot of plasma guns um, in uh, for my plague marines. Like it's um, it's the best way to run them, really, in my opinion. Um, having three plasma guns in a squad, you can have two plague marines with plasma guns, and the champion can have a plasma gun as well. So um, I've got quite a few of of this same model. Um, uh, but again, just following the same sort of pattern as what I did before. Um, all I've done here is swap the head because the head is a separate bit. Uh, I've cut off this spike um, just again to give it a little bit more variety. One of the, the other things is they've got this like, this guy has this kind of ball with spikes coming out of it. I've just filed that off so it looks like, you know, he's just got a, a ball, like a sensor. Um, I think that's what you call it where you, you know, you can imagine sort of smoke billowing out of that and stuff. Um, and again, turning him around, I've, this backpack again is from the uh, is from the Seven Man Plague Marine kit. And if you want to swap the backpacks, all you have to do is take the take the backpacks from the from the monopose guys, 
and just give them these more unique backpacks because when the when the bodies are all unique you don't mind them having the same backpack but i i and i really like this backpack it's got like this cool spine and this plague knife hanging uh from it so that's um so that's that guy i mean as i said before another thing uh you can do is uh you can have plague champions with with plasma guns and there's one that comes with the uh one that comes with the easy to build plague marines who's got like a plasma gun on his backpack but maybe you want to make uh, this guy into a plague champion i mean the body is he's got like a cloak and he's got loads of chain mail like he he looks pretty much like a champion so um all you have to do really to make him look a bit more, maybe a bit more like a champion is give him give him a bare head so i've done that um just giving him the bare head from the plague marines this is one of the alternate heads for the uh, for the plague champion from the seven man kit and also i gave him a this backpack is like the is intended for the the plague champion as well so it's just a bit more intricate it's got this cool big spike on it and this cool face so um yeah that's a that's a, a plague champion um kit bash i've left like all the spikes and stuff on him because he so he looks a bit more like a champion uh and yeah primaris head on his uh base just to just to polish the model off. So yeah, that's uh, that's all I wanted to talk about. Just a way that you can easily, just by swapping a few parts um, or slicing off a few spikes, uh, you can make what is essentially the same model look uh, look a bit more unique, and it's not gonna uh, look so identical when you field your squads. Uh, so yeah, thanks very much. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.